this week has been a big week for wrestling, and it only gets bigger as we head into the weekend. You're right. Thank about you. About all of that. I, I, I know. So big that me and Kevin Hawk couldn't do it by ourselves. So, of course, we called in the man we know is capable of predicting everything and all things. I'm talking about predictions, villain. I back, would sir. tip my hat to you if I had one. I appreciate that. I appreciate the, the sentiment. But you don't have a hat, so let's just start predicting stuff, because we've got... Two full shows. Many shows, many matches to predict. Many names. Many people to speak about. Yes. We're going to start on Saturday with NXT TakeOver War Games. Sounds like a good place to start. Indeed. Now, what match at War Games are we going to start with? Ah, yes. Alaysta Blake versus... Mm. Velveteen Dream. That one made you meow. You really like Velveteen Dream, huh? It brings out my inner capsule. Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna judge you. I don't judge. I don't judge Velveteen Dream. I'm not gonna judge you. So you shan't. <laughs> and Tarvis Clot. Yep. Thanks for that. Uh, I'm going with Velveteen Dream. <laughs> Yes, I so think, so is my catty soul. Yeah, I, I can hear that. It's just calling for Velveteen Dream. Yes, uh, but I'm actually going to predict this to be a win for Aleister Blake. Really? Yes. The undefeated streak has to keep rolling. Yeah, I I I think rolling rolling. No, we we didn't we haven't done that since 2003. We're we're done. done? Yeah, we're, uh, we're done with that. My bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I yeah, no, I I definitely see this being. An upset, uh, kind of out of nowhere uh, win for uh, Velveteen Dream. Ah, as much yes. as I like Alistair Black, I have a feeling Velveteen Dream is going to take it. And another non implicated match of title ramifications on the card. Yes. As Casillas, oh no! Faces off against Lars Sullivan. Yeah, that's happening too. I'm predicting that Casillas, oh no, is going to be the first person to defeat Lars Sullivan. Really? All right. Uh, well, I'm going to agree with you, but I don't think Ono is walking away from the ring. Uh, that is highly doubtful. I think so. I think he's he, paralyzed. Uh, very close to it. I think. But I think still he, win. He's he's gonna get the win, but Sullivan's gonna beat him down afterwards because he's gonna be mad. Probably. He's always angry. He just yeah he's. He's naturally angry. Yes. Yes. And there's going to be a four corners match to determine the NXT Women's Championship. Yes. Nike Cruz. Carrie Zan. Pete and Rice. You okay? <laughs> and Emberman will face off to determine a new women's champion. Yes, they will. Because it's the first first time it's uh, been vacant in a long time. Yeah. First, no. the first, the first time that a new champion has been uh, guaranteed in over many a moon. Yeah. Many an Ember Moon? And over many a moon. That means, you know, it's a really a long time. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got that. Uh, speaking of moons, I'm going with Ember Moon. Yes, Ember Moon is the smart money for this match. But you're, uh, but you're gambling. I, normally I am. Oh, are you, are you going with Ember Moon for this one? Yeah, I mean as much as, much as my heart desires Nike Cruz to take the victory. Emberman is going to walk away. The new... No, no, no. No. Hold my horses. You don't have any horses. Or a hat. Carry Zan. Alright. That's who I originally went with, but I, I changed it. I think the reason they gave Ember Moon that warm-up match is for her to, like, 
prove that she can win the big one. But I could be wrong. The NXT Championship is also on the line. Indeed. As Drew Mickey Tear takes this championship into battle against Andre Dre Elmas. What about what about uh what about the lovely lady that's gonna be at ringside? Hmm. Who? Zelina Vega. I don't know who you're talking about. No. Oh, the the one that's really really short. Yes. Buxom lass. <laughs> yep, that's that's the one. All right. Uh, well, regardless of her, Selena Vega. Yep. Who's winning? Uh, Drew is definitely going to retain. Yeah, yeah, I agree. He's really good at kicking people in the face. Andrade is really good at being kicked in the face. <laughs> it just, it works out perfectly for this it's match. It's a match made in... Hell. Some weird cross-breed Scotland-Mexico country. <laughs> Spain. We Which is kind of, Spain. What, kind of what hell looks like. <laughs> cross-breed cross Scotland or Mexico? Yep. All right. Been there twice. You should... Alright. And the War Games main event. Yes! Which will be War Games. Go to figure that one. Uh, yes. Sanity. Versus Roderick Strung. And the Utor Zapan. Versus the Undisputed Era. We'll go with Undisputed Era. Really? The newcomers? Yep. To take this victory, yep. eh? That's who I'm going with. Uh, I, think this, I think this is setting up for Fish and O'Reilly to get tag team title shots and putting Adam Cole in the running for a potential title shot against Drew McIntyre. Oh. Hmm. Well, then. Roderick and the O'Tours have my vote. Oh. Interesting. I think they're going to be the team that people least expect to win. Yeah. Because of not being a unit. They're a tag yeah. team and a singles guy who have no yeah, they're, prior allegiance. They're just together because they that's the way that they can get their hands on everyone that they want to beat the hell out of. And I just think that's that's how they win. They're just they're, reckless abandon. They're they're the the dark horse team of the match, it's they're gonna be the the other two teams are just going to kind of like underestimate them. That's fair. Which you shouldn't do because To be fair, you really shouldn't underestimate any of these teams. The Thors of Pain are large humans. And Roderick Strong is just strong. He he can do anything strong. he wants. Roderick Strong. Alright. That that predicts war games. War games. Uh, so then, following that, the next day, yes, is the series of survival. Yes, that is that is the one. Yep. Um, there's a lot of matches on that one as well. Eight, eight to be exact. Yes, on the pre-show, one match. The cruiserweight champion. So far, there will probably uh, be another match added. Sometime. Callisto versus Enzo Amory for the Cruiserweight Championship. Yes. Your vote goes with. Go with Callisto. Uh, yes, I also vote for Callisto because Amori can suck a dirty sock. Enzo Amore, you can suck a dick. I mean, sure. Good. He might. He's not dating Liv Morgan anymore. I won't judge you. Anyway. Uh, yes. The rest of the show revolves around brand warfare. Raw versus SmackDown. For the one time a year where Raw and SmackDown compete head to head. Are you tired of that phrase yet? Oh, yeah. I just gotta get through. A... Did someone just text you? Nope. I thought we put our phones on silent. Somebody texted my cat soul. 
Oh. They can cancel and make that shit up. Yeah. But anyways. Happens. Yes. So we're going to start with one where no champions are involved. Oh. And that bees. Ah, I know that is. The Shield. Seath Ruins. Dean Ambrosia. And Romanski Reigns. Versus the Nudie. Big Eustace. Xavier Woods. And Kofefe Kingstown. Who do you think is going... Which brand reigns supreme? It's got to be the Shield. The Shield ha have only had one proper match together, and they won. The New Day won't suffer from a loss, so it's got to go with the Shield. Yes. The Shield also has my vote. Which member of the Shield do you think will win? Roman Reigns. Romanski? Romanski Reigns, Reigns over Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods? Okay. Yes. That's a bold prediction. I think Romanski Reigns over Kofefe Kingstown. I hope. Uh, yes. And of the rest of the matches, besides the uh, traditional Survivor Series elimination matches, uh, are champion versus champion. Indeed. The uh, women's championships from both sides. Uh, Harlot Flair versus Alexa Bliss. I'm going with Charlotte. Harlot? Charlotte. I'm, I'm going with Bliss. I think WWE is very, very high on Bleas right I think, now. I think they're very high on Charlotte. And with Charlotte being a brand new champion, I think this is going to work in favor of Alexa being like, well, I only had a couple days to prepare for Charlotte. I was prepared for Natalia. And so she has a good excuse. Yeah, I, I think she's going to use that as a bragging point when she wins. Ah, that'd be good too. Right. All right, then we're gonna have the Intercontinental Champion, Mr. Maurice, versus the United States Champion, Baron Corbin. I'm going with Mr. Maurice. Mr. Maurice. Yeah. I really hope Mr. Maurice wins. Uh, I'm. But. You know, I'm gonna put my money on him, right. even though. Uh, the smart bet goes on Baron Corbin because he's bigger and stronger. Mr. Maurice has more experience, though. Yeah, exactly. And he's got an entourage. Oh, is that who those other guys are? Yeah. Bodilus and... Bodilus and Curtis a <laughs> Yeah, those are the guys. Ah. Uh -huh. All right. Didn't realize that's who they were. The tag team champions of both brands will also fight... The bar, that being Shamus and Cesaro versus Himi and He Uso of the team known as the Usos. Wait, <laughs> never mind. What? No, no, I just I had to process that for a second. I understand now. Yes, Himi okay. Uso and Ye Uso, the Usos. <laughs> yep, I get it. Who, who do you pick to win this one? I'm, I'm going with the Usos. Yeah? Yep. All right. I pick the bar. Okay. Because that's what heaven looks like. <laughs> a bar? Yes. Now or, or a strange breed cross between Ireland and Switzerland. Which is the opposite of Scotland and Mexico. Yes. Got it. <laughs> I'm learning so many things from you. This is why we bring you in. I feel very cultured doing this video with you. Yeah, uh, what cultured? No, I, no? I would never want to feel what cultured. Mm, not anymore. I, I've never wanted to feel what cultured. But, we got three more matches to talk about. Yes! The big champions of championness yeah. on their brands. As the Universal Champion, 
Bork Laser faces off against the Wii champion, Ad Styles. Bork wins. Yeah. Via eating Ad Styles. Yeah. I don't think AJ has a fucking chance. I think AJ has a chance. Ad, I mean. Uh, but it won't be a very big one. <clears throat> Okay. The series of survival matches. There's two of them. So far. Are five against five, elimination style. Mm -hmm. We're going to predict all the. I'm just kidding. That would take way too long. We may throw in potential soul survivors. Maybe. But we're not going to do order of elimination. Yeah, no, that would take way too long. And we've already spent a long time saying names. So here come more names. So excited for this. Team Raw. Which which one are we starting with? Women's. All right. Sorry, forgot to specify. Yeah, there's... ladies first. Though. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I'm a predictions gentle villain. So. Here's a twirly mustache under there. The the team captain of Raw, who I leave to you to say, Alicia Fox. Yes. And she captains Asuka. Nia Yax, Sasha Banks. Ah, yes. And Billy. What? Billy. B okay. Billy. Alright. And they're going against? Team SmackDown. Well done. Yes. Uh, Biggie Light. You okay? Mm hmm Sorry, I had a sneeze. No. <laughs> Good. Uh, Carmelo. Uh, Numi. And Tamina. Along with a partner that is to be determined. There's a good chance that since Kaharlet won the championship yep. on SmackDown, that the now ex-champion could take her spot on the team. Yeah. There's also other rumors floating around of other people potentially taking the spot. Somebody could come up from NXT. Yeah. There's a lot of options. Yeah. Uh, one rumor posts the potentially uh, one of the Belly Twins Oh. could return. All right. Yeah, that, 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 may, that makes sense. But it would one, be Nikki. One, one of the uh, most prominent rumors, however... Uh, sees Paige. Page. Page. It's not Page? No. No. Been saying uh, wrong though, this whole time. Uh, potentially making her fantastical return. That's the, the, that's that's where my vote's the going. The series of survival. That's where my vote's going. Okay, which team wins? I am going with Team Raw because Oscar's not losing. Oh. Oscar, if anything. Asuka will be the sole survivor. She is taking down SmackDown. That's what's going to get her her shot at Alexa Bliss. Mm. I, just to be argumentative, will say Team SmackDown wins. All right. Because I think that whomever takes the to-be-determined spot will eliminate Asuka. And finale. Yes. The male five against five elimination. Indeed. Series of survival match. Yep. Let me find the teams. Okay. Got it. Cool. Team Raw. Kurt Angel. Brown Strawman. Finn Balor. Samoa Joseph. And <sighs> face Team SmackDown. Shawnee McMahon, Randall Orton, Bobby Roo, Shinsuke McNamara, and John Cena. Oh, God. 
I predict Team Raw for victory. I'm going with Team SmackDown. What the shit? What? 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 Why? Why, why do you pick Team SmackDown? Yeah, I just I just don't feel like. Team Raw has any fucking chance of winning. Like, no one trusts each other on that fucking team. Yeah. I, I picked the Swerve Theory. Meaning, the team that they don't want me to think is going to win be the one that wins. Well, I honestly, I feel like... That's why I also picked Roderick and the Auteurs. I, I feel like Team Raw has, like... Like... I feel like they're trying to make us think that Team Raw can't lose because Kurt Angle's job is on the line, Triple H just joined it, they have Braun Strowman, and Joe and Finn Balor are insanely good. But I think all of, the, all of those are combustible elements because Triple H forced his way onto the team. Kurt Angle is under extreme pressure for, from whether it be Stephanie or Triple H or anybody. Braun Strowman can't get along with anybody, and Joe and Finn hate each other. I think they're gonna fucking fall apart. Everybody likes each other on SmackDown. The only the only thing SmackDown has going against it is the potential run-in and interruption from Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Mm, indeed. But I think those two potentially won't be enough to stop SmackDown from winning. Oh, yeah. I forgot to also put in my other reason for why I think Bleas wins in the women's oh. match. Okay. Carmelo. Oh. Being a holder of the Mooney in the Bonk. That makes sense. Sean Mooney in the Bonk. I didn't even think about that, actually. Yeah, I know. Clever. That's why I'm the predictor. It's also why you're the villain. No, the villain, because sometimes I hit people with this. Well, I mean, you just, you came up with a very villainous idea. Yeah, for... so sometimes I peck people with this. That's very villainous. It is. And sometimes I shoot them. Okay. All right. With my camera. Pictures, I mean. Does, Car does Carmella take the title from Charlotte, though? Potentially. All right. We'll see what happens. We will. That's the last match. We've done predicted them all. We have. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to do the things that they tell you to do at the end of all these videos. Like click the links in the description. Yes. Also, by the way, post your predictions. Yes, do that. the comments below. We appreciate that. Check out our podcast. Check out Reasonable Wrestling Fans. There will be a brand new unboxing very soon. And of course, stay over here because starting next week we will have... Would it be clever to say it's reasonable the W? Like wrestling... Yeah, that's that's good. We should start using that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll give I you, just predicted a new catchphrase for you guys. We'll, we'll we'll give you we'll give you credit for it all the time. Uh, yeah. Uh, stay over here because we will have our review of both NXT Takeover War Games and Survivor Series. Look forward to that. All of it coming up on episode 180. But for now, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. Hey, 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 hey.